Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Swan hype. Hype in general with coins, collector coins. What's the deal with it? And should we give in to it? Well, yes and no. I know that sounds a little confusing, but uh, this particular release from the Swan, it's it's kind of a nice coin. You saw me post a video, and several others post a video on it before. And for some people, they may really like the coin. You know, it's got a limited mintage. It's the Perth Mint, after all. And uh, it's, it's beautiful. But at what point and at what level and at what price point uh, do we give in in order to uh, purchase this particular coin? And not only that, but how is it being managed by a particular dealer? Now, in this case, it is uh, Atmex that is holding this coin. But I remember back in 2014 when the uh, Gods of Olympus series came out, the two-ounce high-relief antique coins. And that, that was all the rage and all the hype was around those. And they were expensive coins for sure. But there was one price set, and the sales were throttled by the Perth Mint themselves, because that was the only place you could get them at the time uh, for, for immediate delivery. And to rest assured before they had sold out. And so what would happen is the uh, Perth Mint would let them go for sale for a while, then stop sales, and then restart them up again to give people an equal chance if they timed their purchases correctly before they ran out of, the, out of that mintage. And it appears that Atmex is sort of doing the same thing, but it looks like they're doing other things too, which in my mind uh, turned me off from this series. And it has turned me off from uh, any kind of price throttling uh, that they have done in the past. I will not give in to that. And by the way, make no mistake, and I had mentioned this in, in a prior video, uh, Atmex has the full right to charge whatever the price they want for these coins or for any coin, for anything on the website. It is wholly in their right to do so. It is up to us, the consumers, as to whether or not we give in to those prices and to pay for them. So this is not a slam necessarily on Atmex. It's a caution, a word of warning to us, the viewers. Uh, now, I have not been keeping up with this as intensely as folks like Silver Wolverine have. Silver Wolverine's channel is a great channel, and he has been um, um, kind of keeping up with uh, some of these special issues. So certainly subscribe to him if you want to see some information on these. Uh, but uh, what caught my eye was what Anthony G. had alerted me to and his experience with this particular coin. So I'm going to read his comment here. He says it was listed for maybe an hour. And this was yesterday, 22 hours ago. Shows how far I'm behind I am. Uh, and it was $117 cash, $123 credit card. For a coin that was originally supposed to be listed, they were thinking at around $28. Um, he had asked if the price was accurate and was told yes by the Atmex representative. Maybe 70 to 75 minutes later, it was no longer listed with the sales price. At the time, he had sold it, it was 1000 in stock. And then he goes on to say that he mentioned to the Atmex rep that the 2017 release started at $28, and this starts at 117 The rep said it was due to strong demand. I don't know if this went on sale today in error, and that's why it was pulled so quickly, or what? I know Atmex sometimes watches these videos, so hopefully they can shed some light on what the deal was with this release. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm making this video, because my last video on this one and this particular issue, Atmex did kindly comment and explain uh, what was going on, which I certainly appreciate them taking the time to do so. I disagreed with their um, uh, with their philosophy on why they they put such a strong demand. The reasoning behind it, according to the comment on the previous video that I had posted about an issue with a price throttling with the, with the swans, um, was that uh, they do it so they can give people a fair chance to get the coin. Well, you're, if you're wanting to give people a fair chance, 
pricing the coin out of their budget does not give people a fair chance if that's truly a reason. Now, the way to do that is to throttle sales, limit them to one per customer. That would be the way to do it, or to throttle sales and you make them go offline for a little bit and you uh, and you make them available at a different time, kind of like what the Perth Mint did. Um, now there's 25,000, I guess, of these. So, you know, if they limited it to one or two uh, per uh, order or five per order or something like that, then that's the way you uh, allow it to be sold to as many people uh, as possible. Um, and uh, not charging $117. So they're being disingenuous uh, if, they, if the, it's because of the strong demand and making it equal. Uh, that's price gouging, um, and they have every right to do that. They can charge whatever they want for these, and if people pay it, well, then that's on them. But in my opinion, Atmex, at least according to the previous comment where they posted on my video, and I responded to them and had not heard back from them. If the reason is is to give equal chance to equal, to, to people to purchase these things, um, then you're not going to do that by raising the price um, that much. And again, uh, I can't stress this enough because they're a private company and they have every right to charge whatever price they like for it. Um, and so I would say that Admex should just be honest and say that, well, we're raising the price because people will pay for it because it's a hot release and uh and if they if they do that well then that's fine then they're setting then that way the market will set it in but if they're if their true reason is to, is so that people will have a fair chance to grab the coin well then there's plenty of other ways to do that without raising the price um and so we don't know this thing where where this thing uh, lies now right now it's uh, available uh, for uh, it's not available and it's currently out of stock there's no price listed for it um, so I'm curious to see what will happen from this and I hope that Atmex sees this video and will kind of explain um, what's going on because there's people that want this coin they generally want this coin and Atmex as a company of all the bullion dealers out there precious metals dealers they have the very best selection out there and uh, in many cases, you will pay a little bit more for, for that selection, but they do offer deals too, great deals, especially on eBay. And uh, so again, this is, uh, other than this one issue, um, Atmex is, a, is, as far as I'm concerned, a great company. And uh, I'm hoping that we'll get a better explanation of this, uh, maybe from Atmex, to see what their thoughts are. We'll look for it in the comment section below. And by the way, if any representative of Atmex wants to do a live interview with me just on their company um, and answer this question with a live interview, I'd be more than happy to do that. So post your thoughts below, and I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.